Hi, this is Peter Schulz, developer of WordPress plugin WP Data Access. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can use uh, WordPress roles to give users access to your data project pages. I have prepared a small uh, presentation for this tutorial, so I'll follow this presentation and show you alongside uh, how you can do this hands-on in the browser. Well, first of all, you need to give access, users access to your data projects pages. Now, there are two ways to give users access to your data projects. The first one is give user access to your WordPress dashboard. Um, that this means that you have to set the add to menu uh, item of the data project to yes, otherwise the data project will not be shown in the dashboard menu. The, the, the second option is that you use the shortcode WPDA diehard. Um, you can just add that shortcode uh, to your page, but you have to make sure that you secure your page. Now, um, for this demo, I will use the uh, student administration system. Uh, you can check out that system on the website. Um, if you look at the student administration system, you'll notice that there are three uh, user groups. The first group is the administrator group, the second one is the, is the teachers, and the last one are the students. And different groups um, have different privileges. Now in this demo, I have used the WordPress standard roles, administrator, contributor, and subscriber. Well, that might be okay for your uh, data project, but mm, not necessarily. In this situation, the administrator of my data project is also the administrator of my WordPress installation. This is because I'm giving this administrator the WordPress standard role administrator, and it means that inside the WordPress dashboard, this user can literally do everything. So in a perfect world, then uh, users would in fact all have the subscriber role. This is the, the least role that uh, you can have, the least privileges. Um, a subscriber can uh, log into the dashboard, can change his profile and, uh, and, and is allowed uh, to create comments. Uh, so that's, that's all this role can do. And this user um, does not have any administrator privileges. So this would be the preferred role, but the problem here would be that um, if I give all those user groups the same role, I have no way to to uh, to recognize which to which user group this user belongs. So the solution for this is that we give a user multiple roles. This means we give him the subscriber role to give him access to the dashboard, but besides that, we also give this user an application role. So in this case, there could be the app student, app teacher, and the app administrator. And um, the plugin allows you, starting from version 2.7.0, to create empty roles that have no capabilities, so there are no WordPress uh, privileges attached to these roles. They just they are just used to identify to which user group a user belongs. Now, um, let's let's have a look uh, at how you can use this and um, to do this I will use the student administration system and, and I will show you how you can use this feature uh, for the student group but in fact you can use that for all the other groups as well. Now here we are on the student administration system page um, if I scroll down you can see here uh, the last three pages are attached to the role subscriber. These are the student pages. Now, this is the new version, and the new version has um, a new option. Uh, click on the, the Manage plugin. I will do this in a new tab. So I'll switch to that tab. And um, uh, on the Manage plugin page, you find a new tab, Manage Roles. 
and if you click on the manage roles tab you see that you have um, a number of possibilities the first one is to enable roles and the second one is to use roles in a short code and the last one is to to uh, create new roles um, let's get to the first one if you are already using a, a role plugin don't uh, enable role management um, I don't think it's a good idea to have two role management uh, plugins uh, running on your system but if you have no role management plugin um, you can safely enable this and let's see what happens uh, before I'll, I'll activate it uh, I will have a look at the, the user list on my installation. As you can see, um, we have a, a role column here, and here we have the administrator, subscriber, and contributor, which are those three user groups. The first one is me, I'm the administrator. Then you have the teacher, which is a subscriber, uh, so, sorry, a student is a subscriber, and a teacher is a contributor. Now, if I enable this uh, setting, um, save it, um, and I refresh the page, you would see that uh, the, the, the label of this column is changed from role to roles. Now, if you click on, uh, on a st uh, on, on a um, uh, user account then you can see that uh, on the normal circumstances you would have a list and you can select only run role but you can see here that I can now select multiple roles um, just to, to show you how this looks in the standard WordPress environment uh, it looks like this so you would have just one list box and you can only select one role so if you enable this you can now select multiple roles. But in our presentation that um, I just showed you, uh, we wanted uh, to have the, the student uh, an, another role. So it, it should be a non-WordPress role because we do not want to have that role uh, to, to add some, some uh, WordPress capabilities to that role. Now, to um, to achieve that we can create a new role here and that could be something like uh, this one and I get, can add a number of roles right away of course um, and, and let's, uh, let's add the admin role as well Let's save them. And now I have added three roles, but these roles have no WordPress capabilities. They're just there and they can be used, so they can be recognized. Um, but, but if a user would log on and have these roles, it would not add any more privileges to that user account. Now let's update this page to see the roles and as you can see those new roles are now available in this page so I want this user to be a subscriber and a student as well the WPDA student as well let's update this the student user now has the subscriber role and the WPDA student role now we gotta update the data project pages because the student pages are all still using the subscriber role. Let's fix that. As you can see, the new roles are added automatically. Now click the WPDA student role and save. Make sure you're not selecting the subscriber role. I'll come back to that later. All student pages now have the WPDA student role. The student user now has the subscriber role to get access to the dashboard and the WPDA student role to get access to the data project pages. Let's uh, log in as a student. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard and here we are in the application. 
There's one more feature that I haven't mentioned yet and I like to show you. Um, to show that I'm going to the, the web page and here I have a, a student page uh, that is the profile page for this student so for this this student I'm currently logged in at and it's in fact the same uh, page that you would, sh would see in the dashboard but I'm using a shortcode to display it on a web page now if I log off as uh, the student user and then go back to that page I can still see that uh, that page I'm getting the no data found message because I'm not connected and it is using um, uh, my user ID in the where clause which I don't have right now because I'm not logged in um, and there's a new feature uh, within the plugin that allows you to use roles in your shortcode as well so if you click this option and then go back to the student page you will get a message that you have no access and that is because I don't have this this role this WPDA student role to get access I need to log in first so if I now log in visit the page see the student then I get this information and I can now edit my profile uh, within the web page now I want to go back to the presentation um, which I started with uh, we have been looking at the student user in the demo application that user gets the subscriber role and now in uh, this demo this in this tutorial it, um, we, we have been giving the student the subscriber role and a, a specific app role in our case WPDA student but you can, you can assign your own roles to your own data projects now make sure that your page has the the app role only and not the subscriber role the subscriber role is only used to give the user access to the dashboard so um, if you are using a short code you do not have to uh, assign the subscriber uh, role to the student so in this case um, uh, giving that student the the WPDA student role would be sufficient now um, let's get all this together if you want to manage multiple roles in your data projects uh, enable role management in the plugin settings or if you are using another uh, role management plugin you can use that as well that doesn't really matter make sure however that you are creating empty roles for your data projects so if you are using another uh, another role management uh, plugin don't assign any capabilities WordPress capabilities to that roles make sure it's an empty role so it's only for recognition uh, for the kind of user group that you are dealing with then add your app role to the data project pages make sure your users having the appropriate roles and then keep in mind that if your user needs to get access to the dashboard to the WordPress dashboard then you need to give that user the subscriber role or higher if that user is allowed to, to do uh, more uh, in, in your WordPress uh, dashboard and for the shortcode um, just give your user uh, the, the, the roles that you are using in the data projects and that should be enough now I hope this helps you um, to, to get your data projects up and running um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate use the forum or the website to get in touch